Okay, now let us start with the third question in kinematics of simple harmonic motion. Given a simple harmonic motion, uh, x equal to 0 0.5 cosine. Uh, this is a cosine equation. Take note, this is a cosine equation. Uh, and the unit is in mid x in meter time in second. So be careful, yeah? This is a cosine equation and the unit uh, of uh, x is meter time in second. So I uh, here. The unit is very important because uh, it determines the correct unit for amplitude and omega. So um, I just want to say again, if the x is unit meter, the amplitude also have the same unit meter. When the time is in second, the omega is per second. So the unit for amplitude depend on displacement. The unit for omega depend on time. So we must always check uh, if the displacement is cm, then our amplitude will be cm. Uh, if our time is millisecond, then our omega is per millisecond. So you have to always check the unit first. Write it down here. Okay, finish that. Now, um, good. Uh, the first question, calculate the time required by a body to move from the equilibrium position to a point 0 0.025 meter away from it. Okay, this question asks about the time with position. Uh, time position. So what formula do we use? Yes, we use the XT formula. Uh, so we use back this formula. Okay, this formula. Okay, before we go to the question A, I just want you to always compare the given displacement time equation with the general equation. Write the general equation just beside the given equation. So from here, the general equation is x equal to a cos omega t. Uh, if the question give uh, cosine, then our general equation also cosine. If the question says sine, then we also use sine. Okay? Uh, so from here, we can see that the amplitude is 0 0.5 meter. The omega is 3 pi. Uh, okay? Uh, this is how we compare. We got the amplitude and omega already. Now, we want to find the time for these two positions. We have two positions here. We have the equilibrium position and also the 0 0.25 position. We, so we have the two positions. We, uh, we need to find uh, time for equilibrium and time for uh, 0 0.25. Then the time required is just the difference in the time. T2 minus T1. Okay. Now, use the XT equation. Use the XT equation. So for equilibrium position, uh, this is the equilibrium position. Uh, so you just put into equilibrium position. Uh, I mean, just substitute the x with 0. x with 0. Equal to, uh, which is 0 0.5 cosine 3 pi t. Okay. Um, remember, always change your calculator to radian. Because this is using pi. Yeah? Uh, radian. You, yeah? To, for this chapter, simple harmonic motion, your theta must be in radian. Okay? Your theta must be in radian. Now, um, before, this, before we go forward, we sketch the cosine graph. We sketch the cosine graph. So you see, so you see, uh, this cosine equation is actually this graph. Cosine graph, isn't it? Uh, so actually, this uh, so this uh, motion actually is start from the amplitude. Uh, it start from the amplitude. Okay. Uh, so so uh, okay, it start from the amplitude. Now the body move from equilibrium. The body move from equilibrium to zero point two five meter. Okay. Move from equilibrium, that means uh, start from the equilibrium position. 
Okay, start from equilibrium position. Uh, so, uh, which is uh, zero, equilibrium position, and go to 0 0.25 meter away from it. So, 0 0.25 meter away, so the graph actually goes down. Uh, it's not go, go up. The graph actually goes down. So, 0 0.25, so we can say, uh, equilibrium position is here. Yeah? Uh, 0 0.25 is over here. Uh, X equal to negative 0 0.25. So our displacement need to put a negative sign. Negative sign. Why put a negative sign? Because the graph goes down. It does it's not goes up. It goes down. Yeah? Uh, so X equal to 0 0.25 meter. That's why the negative, the because here it just says 0 0.25 meter away from it. It can be uh, above the equilibrium, can be below the equilibrium. But as you see the graph, from equilibrium to 0 0.25 meter away from equilibrium means the graph goes down. So this is uh, 0 0.25 meter below the equilibrium. Okay, below the equilibrium. So negative 0 0.25. So, we find the time for both of these positions. Okay? Let's do it. Uh, for the first one, uh, we divide. Uh, we still got cosine 3 pi t. And then use calculator. Uh, reverse cosine. And we got um, pi over 2. So, our time 1 is actually 1 over 6 seconds. This is our time 1. Now, our time 2, our time 2, you know, this is the x1 and this is x2. So, our time 2, how to find time 2? Uh, so, just solve it. Uh, this is negative 1 over 2 after you divide. Uh, so, cosine 3 pi t and then, um, so 3 pi t is equal to, um, uh, you use calculator, you will get 2 over 3 pi. Okay? Uh, you will get 2 over 3 pi. So, cut off. And we will get the time, the time T2 is 2 over 9 second. Uh, 2 over 9 second. Uh, so, we got the time 2. Now, the time required is the difference in the time. Difference in the time. So, it is equal to 2 over 9 minus 1 over 6. So, what is the answer? 0 0.056 second. Okay? Uh, 0 0.056 second. Uh, that's the time required to move from equilibrium to 0 0.25 meter. Uh, below the equilibrium position. Zero, uh, the difference in the time is 0 0.056 second. Okay, now next. What is the velocity and acceleration at this time? 0 0.55 second. Oh, got two things they ask. Velocity and acceleration. Uh, given time. So we need the formula velocity time and acceleration time because given time us to find velocity and acceleration do we have this equation no we only have the displacement time equation so we need to differentiate we need to differentiate so velocity time equation is dx dt uh, dx dt so the x equation displacement equation is just now 0 0.5 cos 3 pi t uh, so 0 0.5 cosine 3 pi t. Uh, this time our displacement start with cos. Pressure, yeah? Start with cos, not sine. So that's why I want to discuss this form this equation because our displacement is a cosine equation. Now differentiate this versus time. So first differentiate outside. Differentiate outside. Uh, 0 0.5 is still 0 0.5. Differentiate cos, you get negative sign. Uh, remember, you have negative. When you differentiate cos, differentiate cos, you get negative sign. Okay? 
And then 3 pi t, you just copy. Now, differential inside, uh, differential inside, we got 3 pi. Uh, the constant 3 pi, okay, t, uh, 1 minus 1 minus 1 becomes 0. So t, so t gone, yeah? t, t is, uh, to the power of 0 is 1. So we can say, we differentiate, differentiate 3 pi t, we get 3 pi. Okay? Now, 3 pi multiplied to the front, we got uh, the negative put in front. So negative in front. So 3 pi multiplied 0 0.5, we get 1.5 pi. And then sine 3 pi t. Uh, so we got our velocity time equation. So the next is substitute into substitute the time into the equation. Make sure this is in radian. Uh, you must be in radian. Okay. So velocity equal to negative 1.5 pi sine uh, 3 pi times 0 0.05. So our velocity is negative uh, 2.14 meter per second. Uh, that's our velocity. Uh, so negative means it's moving downwards. Okay. Now the acceleration time equation. The acceleration time equation. Again, we differentiate the velocity time. Velocity time. Differentiate a is dv dt. So velocity equation is, uh, this is our velocity equation. Okay, uh, just copy this into here. Now differentiate with time. So differentiate outside, differentiate inside. Now differentiate outside, negative 1.5 pi, maintain. Differentiate sign, get cos, uh, no negative. Differentiate, differentiate sign, get cos. And then 3 pi t, copy. Then differentiate inside, you get 3 pi. Okay, 3 pi. Then multiply to the front, 3 pi. So here become uh, negative 4.5 pi square. Because you have pi multiply pi, you get pi square. 3 multiply 1.5, you get 4.5. Okay. Uh, negative 4.5 pi square cos 3 pi t. Okay, congratulations. You already got the acceleration time equation. So this time, make sure in radian, substitute the time to get the answer. Uh, to get the answer, very simple, negative 4.5 pi square per sine uh, 3 pi times 0 0.05. And what's our acceleration? What's our acceleration? Uh, it is a negative 13, uh, sorry. Negative 39.57 meter per second square. Uh, that's our acceleration. That's our acceleration. Negative uh, 39.57 meter per second square. Okay? Good. Now, um, okay. Now, this is an acceleration equation. Acceleration. Now, uh, find the C. Calculate the velocity and acceleration of the body at displacement. 0 0.05 meter from the equilibrium position. Okay, now the question asks for velocity and acceleration, but given displacement. So, this one asks for the velocity displacement equation and also the acceleration displacement equation. Okay, we already have formula for that. Uh, we already have formula for that. No need to differentiate. The velocity displacement equation is this. Plus minus omega square root a square minus x squared. Acceleration displacement is uh, a equal to negative omega square x. So our displacement now is 0 0.05 meter. Uh, he said displacement 0 0.05. Yes, yeah, this is a positive displacement. Make sure you put the sign. This is a positive displacement. No sign means positive. No sign means positive displacement. Very important. So it's a positive displacement. So just substitute into the formula. Uh, just substitute into the formula. Plus, plus minus. Uh, this one also must write. Plus, plus minus. And omega is, what is our omega? Yeah, 3 pi. 3 pi is our omega. So 3 pi. And then what's our amplitude? What's our amplitude? 
your amplitude is 0 0.5 meter. Uh, so 0 0.5 and then minus uh, 0 0.05 square. Okay, so the answer is uh, plus minus 4.69 meter per second. Ah, so the plus minus here means at this displacement, the object maybe is going up or going down. It can have two possibilities. Maybe the object is uh, velocity going up. Maybe at this position, maybe the object is going down. Yeah, uh, at the same position. It has two possibility. Okay, maintain the positive negative sign. Now, to find acceleration displacement uh, is a negative omega square x. So just use the formula. Uh, omega is again omega is three pi. Uh, omega is three pi, and our x is zero point zero five. That's our answer. Uh, negative 4.44 meter per second square. Uh, the negative means uh, to the left. Uh, okay. Or going to the or uh, going downward. Okay. Uh, or going downward. Okay. Uh, so the negative means the direction. Yeah, can say either to the left or downwards. Okay, so very simple, right? Uh, make sure uh, if given time, ask to find velocity acceleration, you just use velocity time, acceleration time. If given displacement, ask to find velocity and acceleration, use the velocity displacement, acceleration displacement equations. Okay, remember always change to radian. That's all for question three. See you in the upcoming question.